Extracts from Artful Designs by Sharon Bill. Available from Amazon in paperback and ebook. It seems that you and I are back in business. DCI James shook hands with Sergeant Maddox in the foyer of Mosley Police Station. Honour demands that we need to set the record straight and solve this case. I won't accept the 15% success rate stance. They haven't met us yet. Let's go and plan our attack. There's not much room here and the facilities aren't very convivial. Let's walk over to Beth's and requisition her kitchen table. We'll get a better cup of tea there and some cake if we're lucky. It'll also save me having to say everything twice, as Beth and Drew will want to know our every move. I'm really thankful for you including me, sir, said Maddox. You know, I'll do my very best, but I am concerned that I'm out of my depth. I'm not very cultured, I'm afraid. Neither am I, but don't tell anybody I told you that. There are plenty of arty experts for us to tap into. Ask them and then just nod as if you knew it already. It works for me. Maddox laughed. I'm not sure I should be bluffing my way through an art theft, but don't say I didn't warn you. I'm not convinced I even know what questions to ask, but I'll do what I can. If I keep my mouth shut, I should escape discovery. That's the very best kind of copper. Mouth shut and ears open. We'll make a formidable team with our unofficial special constables. Drew will be an invaluable ally in getting behind the artistic facade and Beth has an uncanny knack of getting inside people's lives. We'll get to the bottom of this between us. I'm only sorry I couldn't claim you earlier. Does this mean that you're now excused duty for the Flower Festival and the highly contentious WI Croquet Crown? I may have to cover the odd shift, but I'm happy to say that I'm off the hook for the most part. Once again, thank you. James laughed as they turned the corner into Beth's driveway, and after a token knock at the back door, let himself into the kitchen. To announce his arrival, he vigorously activated the silver service bell. He then put the kettle on to boil in acknowledgement of the summons that he'd just made. Very quickly, sounds of the piano in the music room died away and the sound of brushes being cleaned began. Cups of tea and coffee sat waiting, ready for the commencement of the ad hoc burglary squad. I've relocated my office for the morning, Beth. You serve better cakes than the Winsford Canteen and Mosley Station doesn't even have a vending machine. What have you got in? I need a sugar rush to kick-start my thinking. We've got some sleuthing to do and at this very moment I haven't a clue where to begin, said Benedict. What would you say if I told you that I don't have any cake, said Beth. I wouldn't believe you. I'd start searching without bothering for a warrant and I may consider arresting you for obstructing the course of my inquiries, said Benedict. He substantiated the claim by pulling a cake tin from the dresser. Ah, what do we have here? Hidden in plain sight, eh? Always the most effective method. Beth rolled her eyes and fetched plates and forks to serve the remainder of the Victoria sponge that her brother was brandishing. What's the plan, Benji? Where do we start?